Jaguars, and specifically owner Shad Khan, need buy-in from taxpayers before bringing that project to NFL owners for a vote. The so-called community huddle that was held in Springfield today, it was the first of more than a dozen meetings happening over the next few weeks. We have a team of reporters covering the story. We begin with News for Jacks reporter Vic Michalucci, who spoke with Shad Khan and fans. This is a bit of a marathon, the first of 14 community meetings in just 10 days. Many people say they expected to see Jaguars president Mark Lamping at the podium, but they were surprised when owner Shad Khan showed up. It's our time to show the world that Jacksonville has arrived. A packed house at Strings Sports Brewery in Springfield has the Jaguars held their first community huddle about what they're calling the stadium of the future. We can do it over two years or over four years. Team president Mark Lamping working to sell taxpayers on a partnership. Right now, it's 50% from the Jaguars, 50% from the taxpayers. A project, he says, will set the city up for success at a cost of about $1.4 billion. And you're fine with your tax dollars going to... The, the stadium of the future? I know, that, I know that we have to support this. Hundreds of community members came out for the midday meeting, and then an unexpected guest. Jacksonville's on fire. This thing is going to turbocharge it. The Jaguars owner himself, billionaire Shad Khan, he has a vested interest because he needs the city to approve of a deal. Our elected leaders are very important, but I think understanding what the project's all about, you know, we've got to get to the grassroots level. Fans asked a number of questions. A hot topic is if the team will spend two seasons playing elsewhere, like Orlando, Gainesville, or even Daytona. Another concern is if the neighborhoods and businesses around the complex will be protected making sure residents aren't priced out of their own communities. Mr. Khan, there's a lot of people that are hurting in this city. What is your sell when it comes to this much of taxpayer money being used? I think for the city to get better, those are all very, very important issues that have to be addressed. Why aren't they being addressed, okay? Money is a very small part of it. The crowd overall seemed cautiously optimistic. Carol Pinckney hopes it amplifies the city she loves for everyone. I'm a Jacksonville native and, and the idea of this stadium is just, it, it means a lot and we just move forward and I, and I love it. I hope it comes, I hope it happens. Those other meetings are scheduled to be three, two, one. Those other meetings spread throughout Northeast Florida, so there's likely one near you. If you want to see the full list of addresses, dates, and times, go to our website, newsforjax.com. In Springfield, I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.